Chamber concludes that Mr. Thomas Lubanga Dailo is guilty of the crimes of conscripting and enlisting children under the age of 15 years into the FPLC and using them to participate actively in hostilities within the meaning of Articles 8, 2, E, 7 and 25, 3A of the statute from early September 2002 to the 13th of August 2003. On March 14th, 2012, the judges of the Trial Chamber 1, Judge Adrian Fulford, Presiding Judge, Judge Elizabeth Odio Benito, and Judge Renee Blattman delivered the first judgment of the International Criminal Court in the case of Thomas Lubanga Dillo, former president of the UPC FPLC. The Chamber finds that between the 1st of September 2002 and the 13th of August 2003, the armed wing of the UPC FPLC was responsible for the widespread recruitment of young people, including children under the age of 15, on an enforced as well as a voluntary basis. In the course of the trial, which started in January 2009, multiple witnesses testified that the recruited children were sent to the UPC FPLC headquarters in Bunya or to its military training camps, including Rampara, Mandro, and Mangualu. The judges concluded that the children endured harsh training regimes and were subjected to a variety of severe punishments. The evidence reveals that they were placed in a special Kandogo unit, comprised principally of children under the age of 15, and served as bodyguards of the commanders, including Thomas Lubanga's presidential guard. They were also deployed as soldiers in Bunya, Chomai, Kasenyi, Bogoro, and elsewhere, and they took part in fighting, including at Kobu, Sangolo, and Mangualu. The evidence also establishes that children, mainly girls, were used by UPC FPLC commanders to carry out domestic work. The trial chamber heard evidence from witnesses that girl soldiers were subjected to sexual violence and rape. Witnesses specifically referred to girls under the age of 15 who were subjected to sexual violence by UPC FPLC commanders. Sexual violence does not form part of the charges against the accused and the Chamber has not made any findings of fact on the issue, particularly as to whether responsibility is to be attributed to the accused. During 204 days of trial, the Chamber heard 67 testimonies from prosecution and defense witnesses, experts, and victims. 129 victims were authorized to participate in the proceedings and were represented by the legal representatives of victims, who introduced evidence, questioned witnesses, and advanced submissions. The chamber granted the request of the accused to have a separate sentencing hearing. The date for the separate sentencing hearing will be fixed in due course. Mm -hmm.